All right, well, we're uh, we're trying to finish up soft jaws today, or at least the first set of soft jaws for on the little chuck. Here's my little chicken scratch drawing. And that's pretty much all the dimensions I need other than the width for the channel in the center. Now, what I've done is we're setting them up in the mill. I'm using just standard cold roll stock for this first setup, and that's all that's necessary. These are short production runs. We're probably never going to see enough wear on these to create a problem. And uh, this is the material I had laying around. So we're starting off with half by one flat stock. This is just cold roll steel. What we're going to do is we're going to set it up in the mill. We're going to drill for our two holes. And these are just our clearance holes. These are not our countersunk or recessed holes that we're going to need to countersink our screws in. And we'll talk about that when we get that far. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill those two holes. Then we're going to go ahead while we've got that set up. I'm probably going to go ahead and do my uh, cross cut, which is just a quarter inch cut, going to be about a quarter inch deep. And then we're going to set up and make our 3 8 cut with, or we're going to make a cut with a 3 8 cutter, and then we're going to widen it up. I think we're actually about 0.4 is what we need width wise to clear those. Then after we get those fitted, make sure we've got dimensions right, why we'll go ahead and machine those. Then we'll flip it over, and we're either going to countersink or counterbore them on the top for screws. I'm not sure which we're going to do. But anyway, that's the setup. We'll just show a little bit of clips of that as we go along and uh, get this project done. All right, now we'll go back and set that up to cut our uh, cross slot. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over, we'll go ahead and deburr this, and uh, then we'll make sure our cross slot's in the right place. Well, that portion of it looks really, really good, so we're going to go ahead, cut the rest of them, get them to that point, then we'll set it up and cut our parallel slot down the middle.
All right, we're going to make our longitudinal cut. We're only going to go down halfway, eighth of an inch, and uh, then we'll, if this goes fine, why well, will, on the back stroke, we'll cut another uh, eighth of an inch to get our quarter inch. Now we know that slot's still too narrow, but let's go ahead and deburr it, take a measurement, and see how we see what it's going to look like. close yet. Where are we at? Ballpark. Oh, we're right at 375. We need to go to about 410. Let's take about 18 on each side. Okay, we may be a little bit too deep on these. Let's take a look at it. Probably not. By the time we round the edges, okay, by the time we radius our edges down in here and clean that up, that looks like a fairly decent fit so I think we're gonna go right along and we're gonna machine them all like that that's what it looks like before they're deburred then we'll take an either counter bore or countersink the other side like I say I'm not sure what yet we'll see how we're gonna lay out our jaws
All right, well, we've got both our sets of jaws all cut. I still have some final fitting and deburring to do, and um, then we've got to either countersink or counterbore the back sides when it's necessary. Uh, it'll depend on what set of jaws we're setting up or how we're setting them up. But anyway, this is the way we machined them out, and this is the way they would fit together, just like that. And then screw down, of course, from the top, and then we can take in. Uh, what I'll do is I'll set them up in the lathe, and we'll go ahead and face them off in this chuck. We'll we'll pretension the chuck, of course, and then we'll go ahead and face them off so they're true where we're going to insert our jaws. And then we can either silver solder, braze, or TIG weld whatever jaws we see appropriate. Um, and I was going to do that in this in this little video and go ahead and finish this up, but I think we're going to get fairly long here. So I think we'll make one more part of that and at least get one set of jaws made in the next part, and then we can call this good. But anyway, that's the way it's going to set up. I've got to get some bolts to go on there, and um, I'm real happy with that. So we'll fit each jaw individually, or each, each top jaw individually to each chuck. We'll go ahead and number them so they go back in the same position as we interchange them back and forth, uh, just like a standard set of jaws would be. And um, I'll probably take these and decide, at least on the first set, if we're going to counterbore or countersink them. Uh, go ahead and get those set up and get them counter, probably countersunk is what we'll probably do with these. Then we'll probably go ahead, figure out what set of jaws we're going to put in them. And then I think I'm probably going to tumble these jaws just to take the scale off and, and smooth them out a little bit more. Uh, then we'll go ahead, fit our jaws to them, and then we'll finish them however we see appropriate, whether we're going to throw them in the bluing tanks, whether we're going to leave them bare, whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. But anyway, I'm very happy with that fit on those. You know, they're going to lock into place very nice. Um, I don't think dimensions are actually critical as long as they bolt down solid in a repeatable position, and that's definitely repeatable every time. So uh, we've got a fairly snug fit there, and that's why I say any variation between jaws, why we'll number these so they're set, go back exactly the way we want them. So hopefully you found this a little bit interesting, and um, any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section for me below. If you hadn't hit that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch.